But in his press conference after the match, I think Novak showed that he's got a ways to go in terms of analyzing tennis matches. I don't like to 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 retire. I don't like I don't like these situations. And that's why I'm, I'm really unhappy that I finished th this way, you know, because I think that I was, even though play, playing pretty well today, I was playing pretty well. I was, I think I was in control because I think everything was depending on me. You know, how, how I, was, I was playing, result was like that. Because I, even, even with, the, with, the, with the sore back, I think I played equal match with him. I realized today that uh, I don't need to play anything special, you know. I don't need to any play anything special. You know, everybody thinks, you know, Nadal, for sure, he's the best on on this surface, but he's not unbeatable. That's for sure. I realized that that because I I played today and I, I felt pretty good on the court. I I broke him back like two times in the second set. I didn't. I I, I couldn't serve 100 percent. So I think if I would serve, I. You know, my serve is pretty good. I would use this serve and use the opportunities, and I think I would win the second set, you know. And I think I think I, I could win today. You know, I have to say that even though that he is the best and everybody thinks that he's unbeatable, I, I, I say he's not unbeatable, he's beatable. Rafael, uh, Djokovic told us uh, he felt he had the match under control till his back problems. Do you agree with that? Kadicho? Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, I don't know. If he say that, it's okay. I, I don't need to answer that. No. <laughs> I think Nadal was wondering if something was lost in translation. Your reaction? Are you kidding me? <laughs> when the trainer came out, buddy, do you need some, Djokovic, do you need some smelling salts? <laughs> do you, you want to incite Rafa? I think the next time he plays you, he is going to drop the hammer on you. You will never forget saying that. You must have been watching a different match than I was, because to me, it was a heavyweight versus a middleweight. You were being pushed back. What were you thinking about, buddy? Did you see anything different there that I didn't? No, Nadal won 73 points, Djokovic won 53, and that only tells a small part of the story. He was clearly being muscled around the court. But yeah. Of course, the big question for a lot of women around here, does he have a girlfriend? Or it is, he does, but it's, it's very much on the down low. He keeps it very secret, keeps the private life away from the press.